Hey y'all, it's your girl Stephanie's Wrestling Color Podcast right here on YouTube. Make sure you follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. Make sure you turn on notifications and keep up with me. Make sure you thumbs up this video. And make sure you follow. Also, I would also like you to make sure that you check out the last one, two, three, four, five, six episodes. Newly updated. We'll run through it. Is this a repetitive, not character development about Alexa Bliss? Mandy played in Tamara Hall's face. The finesse queen, Charlotte, returns. Military propaganda and misinformation. Miss Lacey Evans, Monet, in the bank, Mercedes rules. And return of the Mac, Mr. McMahon has returned. Those are the latest episodes. Please get into them. Hit me in the comments. Tell me what you think of them. Make sure you thumbs them up. And if you like what's going on, I have over 100 episodes, if not more, of different points in time where things had to be talked about. About the got the call out. I got I got dream deferred about Velveteen Dream fall from grace. I got uh. Puts things in perspective. We talk about Brody Lee. He passed. We got... What is Ember Moon? Who's no longer Ember Moon, right? We got all kinds of stuff. Chock full of different topics that you're not going to hear anywhere else. Because no one wants to talk about the stuff I talk about. Remember? I mix politics with social issues and wrestling. And I don't mix it. It just happens to happen, right? This is Roy Rubble Rican too, by the way. So, you might want to get into what I got going on. So, with that being said, let's dive into the content and the topic. You see the picture. So, the question I have, is this what it takes? Is this what it takes for women to be taken seriously in wrestling? So, I watched the Ruby Soho and Anna J match, I believe that's who it was. It was Ruby Soho, Anna J. Um, who else was was out there cutting up? Uh, Willow Nightingales. And uh, who's a uh, Mellow? Taya Mellow. I watched that Rampage of all shows match, and I'm gonna have to be honest with you. Those were some hardcore spots. Those were some hard bumps them ladies took. They went all the way with the um, hardcore bloodlust. They gave the audience what they wanted. And I'm just trying to figure out at what cost. Because, yes, Ruby came to AEW. I'm not going to be like really on point with the dates. So, y'all can go in the comments and tell me the dates. Ruby came to AEW. Everybody was like, hell yeah, Ruby. I even have a podcast talking about don't be wasting these people's time. When she got let go from WWE, they didn't really do nothing with her because essentially if Vince don't think he can fuck you, he's not really going to push you. So, they didn't really do nothing to her. They had a little, you know, the riot squad, whatever. Whoop, 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 was cute. She left, went to AEW, came in there, hey, what's up? Got her nose busted, broke. Ain't nothing really was going on. So, fast forward, she been coming out, what a, what a, what a, what a, you know, she's on fucking AEW Dark. I don't watch that. A lot of people ain't really going over there to see those things, but she's doing AEW Dark, which I like to say is the equivalent of WWE's um, main event. So, she's doing AEW Dark, whatever, it's cute, woo, woo, woo. She's on Rampage, they hyping up this whole feud that she basically, from my understanding, was getting the get back because Tay Mello broke her nose with her nasty husband in some weird spot where she dropped her shit on her nose or whatever. Then he threw her wrong on her neck like it was a lot. So she coming back like, bitch, I'm finna do you. And she came back with uh, Willow Nightingale, who, by the way, I'm aware of Willow Nightingale on the independent scene, but a lot of people don't really like know who she is, so I'm probably going to dive into her later on. So anyway, boom, she paired up with Willow Nightingale, Tay got with Anna J, and they went out there to do their thing. Okay, so the match is going, everybody's like, oh, ooh, ah, ooh. then when they turn it up the heat, all you hear the men like, yeah, 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 now it's got to be blood, guts, ass, titties, and all that all over the fucking ring for people to get into the shit. I don't know what uh, Ruby hit 
to be bleeding like that, but I'm going to keep it all the way live. It ain't necessary to be bleeding hard like that. Here's the thing. When you put what you see, you see the pictures I used on purpose. Because just like Becky Lynch, ain't nobody was really paying, be really paying Becky Lynch no attention for some years. It was like, oh, cute, last kicker. Well, you don't know, come out, yay, Becky Lynch. Till she got her shit busted down to the um, little ring with um, old girl, Nia Jax, when it had split her fucking wig. And she stood up there, and I remember because I was like, oh, this is iconic. Like, I was like, yo, she just got over because her shit busted. She bleed, and she like, yo, I'm here. Who wants it? I'm going to fuck y'all up. Mind you, I think she was, like, going back and forth with um, Ronda. I, I, always think, I don't even think that person, because that was, like, October 2018. I kind of forget what Becky Lynch was doing. I just know at that point she was bleeding. That pitch is iconic. That was the beginning of the man. That was the beginning of I'm for the people. Woo, 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 woo. But it took blood. To get, like, everybody looking at her like, oh, she bleeding, her nose broke, this bitch ain't playing. I even watched her chronicle where she's talking about how, and, and she was swole, her eyes are swole, nose broke. She talking about how, you know, she out here trying to do the best she can, and whoop, 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 and, you know, everybody's just like, oh, man, resilience. So, is this what, is this the equivalent of rubies? I hate to just do it like this, because I like Ruby. So, is this rubies? Uh, Becky Lynch moment? Is this the the birth of hardcore Ruby? Is this the Ruby birth? Like, don't fuck with me. I'm out here. I will eat your ass in the middle of the ring with your legs over your head, Ruby. Like, my thing is, why did it take her to be covered in blood for y'all to take her seriously when Ruby been putting in the work for years? Ruby been working on WWE for he, like for a couple years. NXT, she was down there. Nobody was really rocking with her. She come to AEW and was like, ah, yeah, we see her. Yeah, cute, whatever. Woo, woo, woo. But now that her fucking, she covered in blood. She screaming. She look like she fighting for her life. Now y'all like, yeah. My thing is, is it necessary? Is that the only way women can get over? Especially in AEW. As from what I've seen, if a bitch ain't bleeding, drop down on tax, ass is, is just, you know, draws up her ass, landing on her fucking head. If she ain't halfway to death, AEW fans ain't checking for them. That's just like ooh, uh, Britt Baker and um, old girl. Oh, man, what's her name? Britt Baker and old girl, uh, Tony Khan, don't like the, like, the Latino one. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They had to have a whole hardcore match, and 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 that girl won, but somehow Britt Baker got the got the the accolades, and she lost the match. That's just weird. So I'm asking y'all, because this ain't got to be long. I'm asking y'all, in order for women to get over AEW, in order for women to get over, period, do they got to bleed? Even Bianca Belair bled, right? She busts her chin on them steps. So then, then, Alexa Bliss had something to say, like, I scratched her, I fucked her up. I made her bleed. Now everybody's like, oh. So, so you mean to tell me the, these women got blood on the inside of them? Like, why does it take all of that just to get over? Like, I don't understand. And AEW, the only thing about them is they bleed, everybody fucking bleed too fucking much. But why can't them women go in there and have a good technical match and everybody enjoy it? They had to just give all of this just so people could take them seriously. And the fucked up part is, it wasn't even on Dynamite. It was on Rampage. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Do women got to bleed and put they, they they souls out there just to get the attention they need on women's wrestling with these type of matches? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. It's Wrestling Color Podcast. I'll see you next time. We'll talk to you next time because I ain't on camera yet. Yet. Working on some things. All right, do